Hi guys, welcome to the Goofy Review. I am your host, the Goofy Noofy. Uh, in today's episode, I will be talking to you guys about winter gas. What is the difference between winter gas and summer gas? Okay, you ever wonder why gas is so expensive? Well, during the spring and the fall, uh, it, it gets more expensive because they do a switch between the winter gas and the summer gas. And... Uh, they do a shutdown in the process, do maintenance and stuff like that. So they and it, to to do the switch between the winter gas and the summer gas costs a bit of money. So they jack up your prices. Um, the difference between the two is in the RVP, and the RVP is the Reed Vapor Pressure, and the RVP of fuel is the measure of how easily the fuel evaporates under a given temperature. Uh, the more volatile gasoline is, the higher the RVP is going to be, and the easier it is to evaporate. Now, winter gas has a higher RVP because of the lower temperature outside, um, and the fuel has to be able to evaporate. And the freezing point of gasoline is only minus 60. So you think about that, it's, to, get a, to get vapor to come off of a liquid and when it's really cold is real difficult. So when they lower the read vapor pressure of uh, the gasoline, it actually ignites at a much lower temperature. And if the RVP of uh, your fuel is too low during the winter time, the en your, your engine is probably not going to start. If it does, it's going to run very, very rough and very hard on your engine. Now the summer gas has a lower RVP to prevent excessive evaporation when you have fuel outside in the environment like say in a jerry can or whatever if your rvp in the summertime was too high your jerry cans would probably burst because of the, the heat would cause it to evaporate so much faster so much more that it would pressurize and you'd end up with all kinds of issues reducing the volatility of summer gas which is lowering the rvp also decreases emissions uh, that contribute to an unhealthy ozone layer and smog. Uh, and the lower RVP also helps prevent like um, vapor lock and stuff you'll get in your via in mostly older vehicles during the summertime when it's really, really hot outside. And the last thing you want is vapor lock in your engine. And what that is, is the fuel won't travel through the fuel lines of your vehicle because there's vapor locked in these lines and it's preventing the fuel from actually flowing. And you're not going to go very far like that. Now, um, summer gas has 1.7% more energy than winter gas. And what this does is it gives you slightly better gas mileage during the summertime because when, when your fuel ignites, it's giving you more energy so your engine's be able to run with less fuel. So you get better fuel mileage. Um, now... The, the what makes up the RVP of fuel is a combination of all the different chemicals. Uh, it's the amounts that they put in each. Uh, like summer gas has uh, forty percent FCC, twenty five percent straight run gas, which is just straight gas. Um, it has eighteen percent reformate, fifteen percent alkylate, and two percent butane. Now, the FCC is a fluid catalytic cracker, and that is something I'll get into in a totally different video. It's just too much to get into right now. Um, but the combination of all those make up the RVP and winter gas. They just change the numbers a little bit. So, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know the difference, don't know what winter gas is, uh, if you want to know why you're burning more fuel during the winter time than you do in the summer it's one of the reasons why another reason why you could be just romping on it in the winter time and burning your tires and not going nowhere and you're going to burn a lot more gas in anyway and having your vehicle sitting idle for too long you're going to burn a lot more gas too even though an idling vehicle doesn't burn as much gas as a driving vehicle when a vehicle is sitting and idling for a long time it actually causes issues with your engine and issues with your engine it gums it up causes a bunch of carbon and everything in the engine you don't want that so I hope you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, help me get to a thousand subscribers, or more. 
Well, that's it for it, guys. I hope you liked that video and check out these other ones, eh? I dare ya. They're pretty good. Hope you left some good comments. Hit the thumbs up. Left the subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.